In this video, we're continuing on with the absolute value inequalities worksheet, starting with number 7. We have the absolute value of 4v minus 9 is less than or equal to 27. That means that this quantity, 4v minus 9, is either less than or equal to 27, or 4v minus 9 is greater than or equal to a negative 27. Remembering to switch which way the sign faces when we're dealing with the negative option. We're going to start by adding 9 to both sides. That'll give us that 4v is less than or equal to 36. When we divide by 4, as our next step, we'll get that v is less than or equal to a positive 9. Doing the same steps over here, we're adding 9 to both sides. That's going to give us that 4v is greater than or equal to a negative 18. Divide both sides by 4 and we'll get that v is greater than or equal to negative 18 over 4, which can simplify into negative 9 halves, or negative 9 over 2. We can combine these to say that negative 9 over 2 is less than or equal to v, which is less than or equal to a positive 9. When we graph this, we're going to circle and fill in negative 9 halves, which is between the negative 4 and negative 5. And we're going to circle and shade in that positive 9. Then we're going to shade everything in between those two points. In number 8, we have the absolute value of 10 plus 4x is less than 14. So this quantity 10 plus 4x is less than 14, or that quantity is greater than a negative 14. Subtract 10 from both sides to get that 4x is less than a positive 4. When we divide by 4, we get that x is less than 1. In our second inequality, we're going to again subtract 10 to get that 4x is greater than a negative 24. When we divide by 4, we get that x is greater than negative 6. We can combine these and say that negative 6 is less than x, which is less than a positive 1. Circle the negative 6, don't fill it in. Circle the 1, don't fill that in, but shade everything in between. In number 9, we have the absolute value of 3 minus 9a is less than or equal to 60. That's saying that 3 minus 9a is less than or equal to 60, or that 3 minus 9a is greater than negative 60. So we're going to start by subtracting 3 from both sides. That'll give us that negative 9a is less than or equal to 57. Subtract 3 again, and that'll give us that negative 9a is greater than or equal to negative 63. When we divide by negative 9, we're going to have to split the sign. So this is going to leave us with a is greater than or equal to 57 over negative 9 can be simplified to negative 19 over 3. And then a is less than or equal to 7. We can write this as negative 19 over 3 is less than or equal to a, which is less than or equal to 7. When we graph that, negative 19 thirds falls between the negative 6 and negative 7. So circle, fill that in. Circle and fill in the positive 7, and a is everything in between. Number 10, we have the absolute value of 7x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 74. So that's saying that this quantity, 7x plus 4, is greater than or equal to 74 and or it's less than or equal to negative 74. We're going to start by subtracting 4 from both sides. That'll leave us with 7x is greater than or equal to 70 and then we'll divide by 7 
to get that x is greater than or equal to 10. In the second inequality, again, subtracting by 4 will give us that 7x is less than or equal to negative 78. Divide both sides by 7 to get that x is less than or equal to negative 78 over 7, since that cannot be simplified anymore. So we have that x is greater than or equal to 10, or x is less than or equal to negative 78 over 7. So we're going to circle the positive 10, fill that in, and shade everything to the right, since x is greater than or equal to that, and then x is less than or equal to negative 78 over 7, which is between negative 11 and negative 12. So we're going to circle, shade that in, and shade everything to the left. So x is either greater than or equal to 10, or x is less than or equal to negative 78 over 7. In number 11, we have the absolute value of n minus 3 is greater than negative 2. We're going to add 3 to both sides initially to get the absolute value by itself. So we'll have the absolute value of n is greater than a positive 1. Now that we have that, we can say that that n value is either greater than 1 or that n value is less than negative 1. So the n is not in between those two, so we have to say that n is greater than 1 or n is less than negative 1. Circle the 1, shade everything to the right, circle the negative 1, and shade everything to the left. In number 12, again, we have to isolate the absolute value before we can split it up. We're going to do that by adding 6 to both sides. When we add 6 to both sides, we'll get that the absolute value of k is less than or equal to a positive 5. So that's saying that this k value is either less than or equal to 5, or that k value is greater than or equal to negative 5. And k is in between those two numbers, so we can write this as negative 5 is less than or equal to k, which is less than or equal to a positive 5. So we have negative 5, circle, shade that in, and we have positive 5, circle, fill that in, and shade everything in between. So in number 12, it was the intersection, whereas in number 11, we were graphing the union. For number 13, we have the absolute value of n plus 4 is less than 12. Start by subtracting 4 from both sides. When we do that, we'll isolate that absolute value of n, and that will be less than 8. So we have that that quantity n is less than 8, or that quantity n is greater than negative 8. And we can rewrite this to say negative 8 is less than n, which is less than a positive 8. Graphing this, we're going to circle the negative 8, circle the positive 8, don't fill any of those in, but shade everything in between. On to our last problem in this video, the absolute value of x plus 7 is greater than 16. And before we go ahead and work through the answer, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up on this video. In order to isolate this absolute value, we're going to start by subtracting 7. That'll give us that the absolute value of x is greater than 9. So that quantity x is either greater than 9 or that x is going to be less than a negative 9. And x is not going to fall in between those two because we have that x is greater than 9, which is everything to the right of 9. And then we have that x is less than negative 9, which is everything to the left. So this is going to be a union using or. So x is greater than 9. Circle the 9 and shade everything to the right. Or x is less than negative 9. Circle the negative 9 and shade everything to the left.